How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another week in medical school. So we are back in school this week. Last week we had the entire week off because of Thanksgiving, which was amazing. So far this morning has been pretty busy. I had an anatomy quiz at eight and then I needed to do my Anki cards. So I rode the bike, did my Anki cards and then finished my Anki cards. And then I had a meeting from like 10 to 12 and I had to do some volunteer training and all that stuff. So I haven't been able to start vlogging until now. But right now I'm gonna hop on Discord to work on some practice questions with a buddy of mine because we have our exam next week. So we wanna do as much practice as we can. Also, I was gonna decorate the apartment a little bit for Christmas and we made a vlog about it and it should be up on my channel before this vlog goes up. So make sure to go check that out. And speaking of the devil. The devil? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee and then start doing practice questions. So I found this salted caramel coffee grounds and salted caramel creamer that I'm really excited to try. All right, I just got done with a practice question session. We did pretty well. We did like 40 questions in about an hour and a half, which is really good. And so now I'm heating up some leftovers from my parents' house and I'm just gonna watch like an episode of a TV show. And Abs is still in my room doing school stuff. I think she's in a class right now, so I'm just gonna let her do her thing. And then I'll figure out the rest of my day after. Some meatloaf and mashed potatoes. The good doctor. And Abs. And apple. And apple. <laughs> Look who's editing their first <laughs> vlog. Yes. <laughs> So I've been going through my list of sketchy videos and catching up on that, but now I'm actually hopping back on Discord to do more practice questions with one of my classmates. All right, so today's been a long productive day of anatomy. I did practice questions a lot today, sketchy. It's been a pretty long day, so we're gonna go get some food, relax for the rest of the night, and then we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So I woke up and did some bonky in bed, and then I just got done doing a practice question session with one of my classmates, and I'm about to hop on the bike to do more Anki and abs is editing her vlog guys this is so freaking hard to edit <laughs> <laughs> and she's decided we're gonna upload it this saturday before this vlog goes up so that's super exciting Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways i have class at one so i want to get at least like half an hour on the bike so i've got time to shower and have some lunch and then i'll have pbl This looks so much more professional. Look at it. I like it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm about to jump into my PBL class and because of the rising number of cases, my school's gone completely online for the rest of the semester and maybe next semester, depending on how everything pans out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna jump on the call and I'll catch up with you guys after. All right, guys, I just got done with PBL. We had a patient who's had a slow onset of tremors uh, difficulty with fine motor movements, gait instability, and so our highest differential diagnosis is Parkinson's disease. And so on Thursday, I have to give a presentation on the timeline and progression of Parkinson's disease, as well as some of the treatments and drugs that we use for it. And so I'll work on that presentation tomorrow, but for the rest of the afternoon, I need to do a discussion post for my community service class, as well as write a speech for a club that I'm in. I'm running for like a board position, and so I have to write a speech. Uh, you know, for the voting and everything. And so I don't know how long that's gonna take. Um, I need to do a little bit of research for that. Uh, but I'm gonna work on that for a little bit. And Abs is in my room. She's in a class until like seven, I think. And so I'm just gonna let her be. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I did my discussion post and I worked on my speech, which I have to give tomorrow. And now the plan for the rest of the night is just to do a bunch of practice questions. And speaking of practice questions, I actually wanna show you one of the resources that I've been using called Lecturio, who's actually sponsoring this week's vlog. All right guys, so here I am on Luxurio's homepage and right here you can already see they have a bunch of helpful modules. They have a question of the day, they've got video libraries, they have recommended lectures based on some of the stuff that I've been studying. And if you keep scrolling down, they show your performance on your question banks, some bookmarks if you've bookmarked any lectures or videos. And down here you have study schedules and this is one of the coolest things about Luxurio compared to other question bank resources is that they don't just have questions. They actually have built-in schedules to help prepare you for your exams. So for example, say I wanna start studying for step one, I could choose one of these step one schedules, let's say the 99 day schedule, and it has a pre-made schedule from day one to day 99 of everything you're gonna do in that day, broken down into hours and minutes, all the videos you're gonna watch, the questions that you're gonna do, they have some days where it's relaxing, they have some days where it's just practice questions, some days you're just watching videos and doing first aid review. Something that's really hard about med school is breaking down how long you're gonna study, the resources you're gonna use, and Luxurio does that for you. They have everything already pre-built. You can click on the day. So for example, let's say we're on day 33, I can click on it, and here it shows you have four hours and 13 minutes worth of videos. And then once you watch the videos, you can take quizzes on the videos and then track how you did. If you need some more supplement, you can go over here to articles. Or say you're even studying for one of your block exams, you can go over here to exam preparation. 
and then you scroll down to the block that you're in. So let's say you're in the psych block. They have a pre-built, broken down, nine day schedule that's gonna go over 161 question main questions, 186 videos, and 697 quiz questions. Again, this is awesome because rather than just being a question bank, they're a study companion and they show you your exact schedule and everything you're going to be doing. Or say you just want to do specific practice questions to the block that you're in, you can go over here to question bank, create custom test. So for example, I'm in the neurology block, so I'm going to deselect all the systems, just do neurology, I'm going to keep all the subjects and keep the difficulty and then go down here and press start test. And here is an example of one of their practice questions. And so this one is about 38 year old woman who underwent a partial thyroidectomy she ended up having hoarseness two weeks later. And so I know that when you're having a thyroidectomy, some of the things that can happen is you can injure the recurrent laryngeal nerve artery that would cause the hoarseness. And so I'm gonna select B and press submit answer. And as you can see, that was the right answer. But what I really wanna show you guys is their explanations and how well detailed it is. They have graphics, they have a bunch of pictures, and they really go in depth into why the right answer is the right answer and why the wrong answers are the wrong answers. And if you're like me, you're doing practice questions with your first aid book in front of you, and they even have the references for the page numbers that this information could be found in. And if you feel like you need further clarification, they even have videos related to these subjects, and so I can click on this one. With a unilateral nerve injury, one may get hoarseness or weakened voice. This doesn't happen with a bilateral injury. And so yeah, they have really awesome videos. And so rather than having to go to another resource, if you get something wrong, you can learn it all within Lecturio. And so between their question banks with really detailed explanations, as well as their built-in study schedules, Lecturio is a great study companion. So make sure to go check out Lecturio using the link in my description. And you can actually use the coupon code SeanAnderson30 to get 30% off of the three month and the 12 month plans. I wanna give a huge thanks again to Lecturio for sponsoring this week's vlog and for helping me study for my exams. Good morning guys. So this morning Ab's left to go back to Reno, which is okay because she's gonna be back in like two and a half weeks for winter break, which is awesome. But right now I've got class, which I'm kind of running late for. So I'll catch up with you guys after. All right guys, so I just got done with my class and honestly, I'm starting to get a little bit stressed because I didn't really realize how much is coming up. So next Friday I have my neuro exam, which I told you guys about. But the day before I have an exam for my foundations of clinical practice class, which is like the doctoring class where we learn all of our like doctoring skills and like physical exams which has been really hard because we've had to do everything with online standardized patients through Zoom and just through like online lectures. And it's been really difficult to like, really like feel like you're learning and getting good at like these physical exam skills. Uh, but there's really not a whole lot we can do with COVID and everything. And so it's just been hard, but this is a written exam. It's not like we're doing an honor standardized patient, but I still have a lot to review for it. And then the day before I have a paper due, I think it's like a five page paper on a reflection of my community service project that I'm doing right now which has also been really difficult to do a whole lot of meaningful work. Because of COVID, it's been hard to get into the community. And so I still have to write a paper on that, on like what we've done and what we plan on doing. And so that is due on Wednesday of next week. And then today's just busy in general. I'm gonna do practice questions for a few hours on Discord with a friend. And then I need to work on my presentation on Parkinson's disease for PBL that I have to give tomorrow. And I have a meeting from six to seven where I have to give a speech in. And then I have to review how to do a neuro exam because I have a standardized patient tomorrow for my class where we have to do a neuro exam. And so today's gonna be really busy. There's really nothing I can do besides get started. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, we should celebrate though. All right, I just finished my presentation on the progression and treatment of Parkinson's disease. And I pulled out my little space heater cause it's starting to get a little bit chilly. But it's a quarter to five and I have a meeting at six. So I think I'm gonna ride my bike for a little bit cause I haven't really done too much exercise today. And then I'm gonna shower and then go to the meeting. All right, not too bad. All right, time to jump into this meeting. All right, so I just got my meeting and I gave my speech and I am now officially the new president of FIDE, which is one of the clubs that I've been a part of since I joined medical school. It's kind of like the social club that's been hosting a lot of events, like helping us get to know each other. And so this was like a position that I really wanted. Honestly, I was a lot more nervous than I thought I'd be during the speech, but everything worked out just fine. And I'm really excited to be the president of the club. So if you're starting med school at UNLV next year, you better join my club. But anyways, right now I'm gonna hop on Discord and do even more practice questions with one of my classmates and I'll probably make some food after. For dinner, I'm making an omelet with just some turkey, some Swiss cheese, I put some paprika, salt and pepper in it, and I'm having bacon. And while I eat this, I'm just gonna relax and watch an episode of The Good Doctor. It's hyperactive response. 
By definition, it must be a company. All right, so for the past little bit, I've just been reviewing the components of a neuro exam because tomorrow in our doctoring class, we have a standardized patient that we have to do a full physical exam and neuro exam on. And so I've been using this resource that we like to use called Bates. And it's just like a bunch of videos and guides onto giving physical exams, which is really, really helpful. But you know, everything being online makes it really difficult to learn how to give these physical exams because like I watch these videos and I read our lectures and everything, but like we don't get to actually practice them. And like, I know eventually we will get to do them and it'll be fine, but still it's really difficult just like in the learning stages to like not be able to practice these things and then have to do like physical exams over, you know, like Zoom. But I know it'll help us one day in the future when we're able to like do these exams over like telehealth, for example, so that patients, you know, maybe that are stuck at home can still get access to healthcare and get physical exams done. So I know it'll be fine. It's just like, I don't know, the learning is hard. But anyways, it is getting late. So I'm gonna head to bed and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. All right, guys, I just got done with the standardized patient. For those of you guys who don't know, standardized patients are actors who are basically given the role as a patient and they know everything about their history. And so it feels like you're just talking to a real patient. And it honestly went really well. Our attending hyped us up a lot and he said that we did a very good job. I did the history taking and so we break it down into like two teams of three where one person does the history taking, one person does the physical exam, and then one person does kind of like the assessment or reads everything back to the attending. And then we do that twice with another team of three. And again, it went really, really well. I thought I did a good job of the history taking. I think that I could have done a little bit better of a job making sure that my review of systems was a little bit more focused on neuro and more towards her migraine. But overall, I think it went really well. I do enjoy doing these standardized patients and I'm really excited to see patients in person one day. I do still have to submit a note for that patient due on Sunday. And so I'll probably work on that this morning, but I still have my Anki to finish. And then I still have PBL at one where I have to get my presentation. So I wanna make sure I've got time to go over my presentation beforehand. So I'm not really sure what order I'm gonna do things in, but I think I might just lay down for like 10 minutes and I'll figure it out. All right, so I ended up just taking a nap, but now I'll get some work done. All right, so for the past little bit, I was working on my note, which I still have to finish. I did a little bit of Anki, which I still have to finish as well. But a classmate asked if I want to do some practice questions. So we did that for about an hour, but now I'm going to hop into PBL. I have to get my presentation on Parkinson's disease today. And then we'll find out what happens with our patient with like the last half of the case. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun. All right, so PBL was fun. Our patient did have Parkinson's disease. So we were right about that. Our presentation went well. So now I'm going to take a little bit of a mental break before I start doing more practice questions. All right, so I just got done doing practice questions and I'm gonna put in about an hour on the bike and then I'll make some food after. And for dinner, I'm having the exact same thing as last night with the same exact TV show. So I've kind of just spent the whole night just relaxing, not doing a whole bunch, but I did get these two videos ready for upload. So this one's gonna come out tomorrow and then this one's gonna come out on Saturday. This is super exciting because this is Ab's vlog. And then this is a vlog of us decorating my apartment. So those are gonna be out the two days prior to this vlog coming out. So that's three videos in a row, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So after this vlog, make sure you go check those out. But anyways, I'm going to bed. All right, so I started my morning a little bit late, but I'm working through my Anki cards and I've got my little space here with me. All right, Anki is done for the morning and I'm gonna hop on Discord to do even more practice questions with my classmate. I know all I've talked about this week is practice questions, but our exam is in a week from today. And so we've really just been trying to get through all of these resources, all of these practice questions. We're currently finishing up Amboss. We have like 80 questions left, which is kind of a lot, but we're gonna try to get through it all today. And then we can move on to the rest of our resources, which is basically just Kaplan. Uh, we've done Luxuria, we've done Amboss almost now, and then Kaplan is the last one. So I'm gonna hop on Discord. I'll catch up with you guys later. So I took a break from questions because about a month ago, I had ordered some school medicine gear, uh, a couple jackets, shirts, um, ones that even have my name on them. And after about a month, they were ready to be picked up. And so I came in, uh, so I came and picked them up, uh, but I don't know that I have time in this vlog to show them all. So I'll just show it to you guys at the beginning of next week's vlog. All right guys, so after I got home, I hopped back on Discord and we finished our question bank, which is awesome. So we only have one more that we wanna work through before our exam, which is a week from today. My study's not necessarily done for the night. I wanna watch some lectures and watch through some sketchy, but I do wanna end the vlog here just cause after I'm done with that, I do wanna start editing. I do wanna thank you guys for joining me on another week in medical school. I know it's a little bit more boring because I'm completely online. I have literally sat in my apartment all week. I'm not going to campus. And so I'm gonna to try to find ways to like make it more interesting for you guys. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me on another week in medical school. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.